And now, we Congress, must. Congressman, I do want to ask you on another topic because it's just happening this morning. Sure. A group of Jewish Democratic members have just released, put out a letter condemning comments by fellow Democratic member Elon Omar. We'll put up what she tweeted because that is at the crux of what I'm talking about. She tweeted the following, that we have seen unthinkable atrocities committed by the U.S., Hamas, Israel, Afghanistan, and the Taliban. And fellow Democrats are now asking for her to clarify for what they call uh, offensive and misguided remarks equating the U.S. and Israel to, well, terrorist organizations. What is your reaction to her words? I think she needs to be much more careful. I don't think she ever intended to uh, lump the United States and Israel into the same uh, terrorism that was being conducted by those other organizations, by those uh, terrorist organizations. Uh, she ought, to, she ought to walk it back. She ought to be very, very careful here. The problem is that this kind of language incites violence here in the United States. Uh, we've seen too much of that. The Jewish community has been affected by that. Uh, and we need, to, we need to really uh, tamp this down. We need to be very measured in our conversations here. There's a lot of emotion in play, understandably so. But uh, be very, very careful, all of us, in all that we say. Yeah, I mean, they, they, this gets into that realm of should she or should someone apologize for something? Do you do? You, does that matter to you here? Do you think you you would look for an apology for what she said? Uh, the word apology can mean many many things. It can be yeah, I'm sorry, or it can be what I really meant to say is the following. Uh, I would hope that she does clarify what uh, what was in that tweet. Uh, one of the things that I've learned and uh, occasionally forget. Uh, is uh, be careful with what you uh, uh, email or what you tweet. The E in email is for evidence. Uh, so uh, be, we ought to be very, very careful how we use these uh, platforms because they can be uh, very, in, they can incite trouble. Uh, and, and as we saw with the president, uh, both his rhetoric and his tweets, it can incite violence. John Garamendi, Congressman, thank you for coming in. Thank you.